right guys so these are what i call as powerful slash chords okay so if you think about it a slash chord is nothing but a major or a minor chord with a different bass other than itself so a major this is not a slash chord this is a major with a in the bottom so we call it a major that's all so if you take the same a major with a another note of the same chord there are two notes remaining you have c sharp and you have e so what i really like about these two chords which are formed out of the same notes as a major itself right you take c sharp now the beauty of this voicing or this way of playing a major which is no longer a major traditional it feels unstable it feels like it wants to go somewhere and it just has a lot of power and it wants to go to the d major chord all of a sudden even though d major is not the root of a major scale a is the root chord so it's just an amazing sound so all you do is take a major chord play the upper third or the major third and then resolve it to the d and there's another beautiful way of using it where you take a major with the e bass this is a great way to resolve to e major okay so in the a major scale you have a as your 1 d as your 4 e as your 5 so you put them all together this will be a with c sharp bass takes itself to d major then you go a with e bass takes itself to e major you got yourself a really nice chord progression there where the a major or the tonic chord is expressed in two different ways this is what we call as slash chords or what i am calling as powerful slash chords okay another very uh, elton john kind of chord you'll find him using it in a lot of his songs you know <laughs> works really well it's also used a lot in uh, glam rock find the bass guitar is just playing the root and the guitar player would kind of just toggle between those chords you know again i keep thinking back to elton john who uses this very often right so you should definitely listen to elton john because a lot of this music has inspired me right guys so these are 10 of my favorite chords and there will probably be a lot more coming your way so have fun with these chords i hope you found them useful i again i've told you how i'm using them in my world of music but uh, this is in no way is trying to say that you have to use it this way you can find your own methods of using them and shape your own music with using these chords right again this is jason here from nathaniel if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit the bell consider following us on patreon for all our handwritten notes and i will see you in the next one cheers